Chago amesema kuwa Rais William Ruto amepanga kuleta pamoja watu binafsi, mashirika ya kibinafsi na mashirika yasiyokuwa ya kiserikali kukabiliana na bala njaa. Rais Ruto anapania kuwa na mkutano Jumamosi hii katika ikulu ya Nairobi tupate taarifa hiyo. The government has prioritized agriculture as one of the five pillars of our economic recovery plan alongside micro, small and medium enterprises, housing and settlement, health care and the digital superhighway and the creative economy. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, Kenya and indeed the Horn of Africa are facing extraordinary food and nutritional situation due to prolonged drought. As we speak, over 4.3 million Kenyans are in need of food and water. We have lost 2.5 million hands of livestock. The numbers grow every minute, day by day. These are not mere numbers. They are lives and livelihoods. It is absurd that we are discussing food insecurity in the 21st century. But as a government, we'll see a different Kenya in the next few months. It is our commitment. Meanwhile, I appeal to all the county governments through the Council of Governors to move a coordinated plan to supply food from the surplus producing counties to the affected regions. I also appeal to them to consider the lifting of the search for food on transit to the affected zones affected by droughts. I call for proper utilization of the resources mobilized for this noble cause. Farm action will be taken against anyone who misappropriates the relief food and other resources for this very needed cause. Ladies and gentlemen, I am particularly concerned that despite the promising innovations from our young people, there is low youth participation in agriculture, inadequate integration of ICT, and low mechanization in production. That is why we are spearheading sustained agricultural reforms to accelerate integration of smart farming as conceived under the Kenya Kwanzaa plan. Ladies and gentlemen, Coast Region has traditionally thrived as a leading producer of cashew nuts and coconut cash crops. We'll continue to implement targeted interventions to revitalize value addition to these two cash crops, which have performed dismally in recent years. I also challenge you to take the logical, logistical advantage of the port city of Mombasa and the free trade zone at Dongokudu to gain more from export. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I once again commend the Agricultural Society of Kenya, the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, the Governor of Mombasa County, exhibitors and all other stakeholders who played a role in making this trade very success. Na kwenye msitu wa taarifa ni kwamba wavuvi wa 